just want to go over a couple of new concepts here before we get into a problem. So density is, is the amount of mass per unit volume of a substance. So it's represented by rho and it's equal to mass over volume. So the imperial units for this are kilograms per meter cube where kilograms represents the mass. And then for the imperial system is a new term called slugs and uh, it's called slugs per foot cubed the imperial system. So another concept is the specific weight is the amount of weight per unit volume, so it's not mass, it's weight per unit volume of a substance. So gamma is equal to is defined to be the weight over the volume. So it can be newtons per meter cubed or pounds per foot cubed. So we have a weight per unit volume and a pound per unit volume. And the way you get this term gamma, gamma is equal to rho g, so that's the density times the gravitational constant. So when you're dealing with slugs, you're going to use g is equal to 32.2 feet per second to get your specific weight. When you're dealing with mass or in, in kilograms, you're going to use g equals 9.81 meters per second. And I've just added an SI, an imperial representation here. So let's look at a problem from the Hibbler uh, textbook, 1-5. Um, uh, so the tank shown here contains a liquid having a density of slugs per feet cubed. And we talked about density in the imperial system is slugs per feet cubed. Determine the weight of the liquid when it is at the level shown. So you can see it's a three foot deep tank and it's one foot deep from the top. So it's two feet deep, four feet long, two feet wide. So now, recall that gamma is equal to rho g. And we know rho in our case is 1.22 slugs per feet cubed. And recall g is equal to 32.2 feet per second squared, right? So specific weight of our substance is going to be 1.22 slugs per feet cubed all this times 32.2 feet per second squared and that's all going to equal 39.284 per feet cubed. Okay, so that is the density, sorry, the specific weight of the substance in that tank. So what, what were we asked? We were asked, what is the weight of the liquid? So now that we have this, what we need next is to multiply this term here by the volume, right? So what's the volume? The volume is equal to four feet by two feet by two feet. So four times two is eight times two is 16. This is 16 feet cubed. So let's go back and look at our slide here and remember that gamma is equal to the weight divided by the volume. So if we want the weight, we need to take our gamma and multiply it by the volume. So if we go back here, gamma is equal to weight per unit volume. We know volume, right? And we know gamma, so the weight is equal to gamma V, which is equal to 39.284 pounds per feet cubed. And all this times the volume, which is 16 feet cubed. It's great that our warrants, units work out, so we're left with weight. And now we have the total weight in the tank is 629 pounds.